Hello, John Chambers from September 21. Thought I'd take the time to talk a little bit about Jolly Phonics. Now, the thing about Jolly Phonics is actually, Jolly Phonics is a bit of a passion of mine. I've been teaching it as a classroom teacher for over 12 years, and I've been studying it with people like Victoria Carlton. And it's just an amazing way that children learn to read. And it's so simple. Basically, it starts off with a very simple story that can be made up about the letter, but I won't do that right now. I'm just, just looking at the first three sounds in the order that they're taught. S-A-T, 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 Straight away, children are reading. Three days into it, learning a sound a day, they're reading. After about 43 days, children can read and write anything they like. Are they always going to spell things correctly? No, because we've got the long vowels equations and things like that. But what they are doing is they've started. They've started on the process. Now, it's multi-sensory. There's an action. S -s -s. There's a song. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. S -s -s. The snake is in the grass five-year-olds and six-year-olds and four-year-olds love that. They can relate to that. And I'm sure seven and eight-year-olds as well. Okay? As I mentioned, there's a story. A little boy was walking through the woods and he saw a snake and went, S -s -s. and he went S -s -s to the snake and the snake slithered away, making up my own story. Very short story. And we've got coming back to the action. Children learn the action. Okay? S -s. Then we've got the second one. The action. Ah, ah, the song. Ah, ah, answer my arms. Ah, ah, answer my arms. Ah, ah, answer my arms are causing me alarm. Oh my gosh, etc. And then you've got t. When I watch a tennis match, tennis match, tennis match. When I watch a tennis match, my head goes back and forth. I always tell the kids to be a bit careful that, but they don't want them to break their necks and injure them, hurt themselves. That would not be good. It's like a movement, Jolly Phonics, as far as I'm concerned. And every movement kind of needs its own special guide. And the, the very first guide I ever came across for Jolly Phonics was this one. The Phonics Handbook. Listen carefully. If you buy nothing else, if you spend money on nothing else, get this, get this, you can do a whole jolly program based around this book. Believe you me, I've done it. I did it. And even now I'm very minimalist because I, th I think sometimes you can have so many things you become overwhelmed. Don't be overwhelmed. Think this. But there are other nice things to get, of course. Another thing I like about jolly, when the kids get a little bit older, as in just uh, getting as close into grammar, the jolly dictionary. Okay, it's color coded with beautiful illustrations. And all five year olds love playing little games with this, and you, you call out the meaning of a word and the page number, and they've got to find it. There are all sorts of things you can do. This is your, your first foray into dictionary skills. After they finish Jolly Phonics 1, is that the end? No, no way. Jolly Phonics 1. Then we go into Jolly Grammar. Yes, there are actions in grammar as well. You know what this means? This is the sign for an adjective. This is the sign for a common noun. Proper noun. Okay, this one. It's a verb. Adverb. Again, those actions help the children to retain the information. Because even when you get to my age, you start to think, you forget what was the action. So you, remember, you remember. And I've, children do that all the time. They actually, I've seen them actually going up this, oh, okay, adjective. So that's another great thing about Jolly Phonics. It's multi-sensory. But you've also got to remember, it's really important to not just know the sounds, not be able to just go, 
You have to put them together to make words. Sant, 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 and we might add a letter. We might say, "Oh, okay." Oh, s, e, 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 t, sit, and so on. And there's lots of variations. We end up with pat and pan all the time. We're going to p, a, m. Pan, p, a, t, pat, every day, blending every day, two or three minutes. A little blending is a good thing. I'm John Chambers. This is from September 21. Good reading, Kia kaha. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you soon.